my bones. It goes electric, baby, when I turn it on. All from my city, all from my home. We're flying up, no ceiling when we in our zone. I got that sunshine in my pocket. Got that good soul in my feet. I feel that hot blood in my body when it drops. Ooh, I can't take my eyes off of it. Moving so phenomenally. Come on, rock the way we rock it. So hey, Sea Stars. It's Miss Ivy, your school counselor. That music makes me want to dance, too. October is National Bullying Prevention Month, and today is actually Unity Day, where we stand against bullying, and we stand together for kindness, acceptance, and inclusion. Let's hear what these three fifth grade C stars have to say about kindness, acceptance, and inclusion. My name is Blaine, and I'm in the fifth grade. Kindness is when you help someone out or when, you, or when they're sitting alone, you can go sit next to them. And make sure to use kind words and think before you speak. And being kind is very important. My name is Olivia. I'm in the fifth grade. Acceptance is if you see someone that is not being included, ask them if they would look, like to come play with you and your friends. Acceptance is also, also if you see someone with or if your friend who has a different skin color or speaks a different language. Acceptance is always the answer. Hi, my name is Leela. I'm in the fifth grade. Inclusion is where if you see somebody at recess, you can go up to them and ask them if they want to play. Or if you're at lunch, you can go sit next to them and ask them about their day. It's always important to include others. Thank you, C-Stars, for sharing your thoughts on kindness, acceptance, and inclusion. Those are really important ideas as we strive to make a five-star difference each day in our relationships, in our school, and in our community. Today, as a part of our Unity Day celebration, we will have a guest reader. She is going to be sharing the story, The Circles Around Us by Brad Montague. Let's see what circles have to do with Unity Day. Hi everyone. My name is Becca Lynn. I am the mom to Murphy, who's in kindergarten and sailor in third grade at Carolina Beach Elementary. And I'm super excited to share this book with you today for Unity Day. It is called The Circles All Around Us. And you can kind of see a theme on the front cover and on the back corner. You can see all these big circles. You see the circles there. This book was written by Brad Montague, and it was illustrated by Brad and Christy Montague. See the inside cover? Go, And it says it's for all the kids making the world better right where they are. So that's you. We begin by drawing a circle on the ground along each shoe. A safe little place for just one person. Nobody in this circle but you. You could keep that circle closed to everyone but yourself, but that would be like a library with just one book on the shelf. So let's draw a bigger circle for you and your family to share. Now you can see what all can happen in a circle full of care. So I have the one circle and just making it bigger. We'll bring the family in. And then there's more family, right? We got Granny Dot and Papa Bit and Barkley the dog, Uncle Hank, Great Granny and all her cats. And it looks like a new cousin. So it becomes a happier circle as more loved ones come to stay. And wouldn't it be even better if all your friends could come and play? So let's bring all our friends into our circle. So you stretch and draw your circle even bigger than it's been. And let a few more people know they're welcome to come in. 
And the circles all around us, everywhere that we all go, as you can see there, it looks like they were going to the florist and it looks like they're going to the post office. So can be kind and spread kindness to everywhere we go, to all these people. And there's the librarian, the soccer coach. There's a difference we can make and a love we can all show. Yet, there are still so many outside the circle who are different in all they do. Though it feels slightly uncomfortable, we draw a bigger circle for them too. It doesn't mean the circle is easy. It can get harder the more we share. So these people are saying, I only like singing. I only like sports. I only wear dresses. I like old comfy shorts. And then on the other side, they say, I'm team cake. I'm team pie. I'm really outgoing. I'm quiet and shy. So we're all so different, right? But we can all be invited, all be included. But wonderful things can happen when love is known and felt everywhere. As time passes, our eyes open, we see others we really care for. And that's when we ask ourselves, well, what's the circle really there for? So I see someone who's sad here on the bench. It looks like they just sat down right next to them. And it looks like they're gonna work together there in the middle to maybe build a sand castle. And our friend at the bottom looks like they're a little um, small yet to quite reach the birdhouse. So we're able to help, right? You're adding your circles together. So let us create bigger circles all around us for the rest of our days. Let our caring ripple out in a million little ways. In the circles all around us, everywhere that we all go, there's a difference we can make and a love we can all show. As our circles grow and grow, we watch them wonder-eyed. Remember, the first circle started with just the love you hold inside. says have the on the back draw a circle build your world include everyone circles all around us i hope you enjoyed that book it is one of my favorites um and if you're wondering well how can i build more circles around me they actually created a circles challenge so there's really easy ways that you can kind of join circles together. So um, one is a compliment, something super easy to do, right? Just saying something kind to someone, saying it out loud to them. Um, you saw in the book that one of the friends sat right next to their other friends. So that's another easy way to um, kind of bring the circles together. Um, let's see and it's just think even just thinking take some time to think about the people you care about and then let them know how you feel so as you go today think about how you can make things brighter in the circles all around you see you soon thank you so much becca lynn for sharing such a special story with us today what a sweet story on the circles around us and how we can use kindness acceptance and inclusion to grow our circles. So guys, I want you to take just a minute when the video ends within your classes and talk about ways, not grand gestures, really big things, but the tiny little ways that we can make a big difference in the lives and those around us each day.
Sea stars, take a minute and think about who is it that you can bring into your circle? Also think about how do you include others in your circle? How do you show acceptance to others? How do you include others in your circle? And finally, what wonderful things can happen when you have a wide circle? We can grow our friendship circles by having different individuals valuing and accepting each other regardless of skin color or gender, intellect, talents, or years. Let's go! In our circle! In our, in our circle!